should not be in a chocolate egg. Like, seriously, what is that? This person took out the little chicken and reached in to grab some jelly beans. They found this Easter candy with a weird snake inside. Bunny head, the bunny ears, and the bunny tail? Huh? It looks like toilet paper. And it looks used. Guess the animal. No, family, I'm not a frog. Okay, what about now? No, family, I'm not a cabbage patch. That's not even an animal. Okay, one more, one more, one more. What? You seriously think this is a traffic cone? I mean, good answer, I guess. Not. It's a carrot and I'm a bunny. No. Cousins and Fouse of Meat Easter! With cute bunnies, pretty Easter eggs, and did I forget to mention spooky bad stuff hiding inside the Easter candy! Yeah, true story. Today, family, we're looking at some of the scariest things found inside Easter candy! Uh huh! Uh huh! Ah! Just imagine this was dipped in chocolate or something. You get the point. Smash like on today's video if you want to get lots of candy for Easter. And comment down below your favorite Easter candy. Mine's mini eggs. Mmm. The first candy we have are these delicious cream eggs. We got the creamy one that's supposed to be filled with cream. And then the caramel one that's supposed to be filled with caramel. <laughs> Hold on. Because allegedly when that dude went to open up that caramel egg, he didn't find no caramel. He found some slime gel. Hulk gel. Weird evil green looking goop thing. That should not be in a chocolate egg. Like, seriously, what is that? You think they mixed up the bunny and bird eggs for bunny and bird poop. That don't look right. But just think on the bright side, family. Now my dude's got colorful hands to do some Easter finger painting. Ugh. Maybe I'll pass. Family, comment down below green goop as the secret word of today's video. And I'll hard your comment with my dirty fingers. Whoopsies. Next candy we got is this giant white chocolate Easter bunny. Oh my gosh, that thing is so big. It looks so tasty. I want one. So obviously the person's super excited to eat this giant bunny. They open up the box and slide out the bunny. Yep, we got the bunny head, the bunny ears, the bunny feet, and the bunny tail. Huh? That don't look like no fluffy bunny tail. It looks like toilet paper. And it looks used. Ooh. Mr. Chocolate Maker, sir, I don't care how white and fluffy you wanted the bunny tail to be. You can't use something that people go to the potty with. That's not mm. normal or edible. Eating toilet paper is the same as eating my vegetables, Dad. Dry and really depressing. Hmm. Family, make sure to watch the end of today's video to see some kind of snake stuck inside of someone's Easter candy. What the? And if you don't want to eat a bunny, you can always be a bunny by putting on some bunny ears. This person bought some bunny ears that came with a big chocolate Easter egg. Then when they went to put the bunny ears on their head, they noticed something a little odd. Something a little green. Something a little spiky. Because allegedly they found a cactus on their head. Well, not on their head. They found it on the bunny ears, but then they put the bunny ears on the head and ow! The little sharp. I don't know where these people found a cactus or why they thought it'd be a good idea to put it under these bunny ears. That's just mean. If you don't like somebody's hairstyle, you can just tell them nicely. You don't gotta be poking some people's brains out with the cactus. That's dark. And evil. That's not something the Easter Bunny would do. And that's the job for Evil Vanny. If you know, you know. Mmm, peach flavored marshmallows. The perfect spring snack. Now when your mommy tells you you gotta eat more fruits and vegetables, just show her this bag. You're practically eating a peach right off the tree. Same thing. So allegedly this person went to the store, bought the bag of candy. Oh, I mean, fruit. And when they went to open the bag and stick their hand inside, they didn't find fruit. And they also didn't find any marshmallows. They found this. A peach flavored marshmallow with a band-aid wrapped around it. Why? Why would 
somebody do that? Why would they ruin a perfectly good peach? Thank you, Peaches, I know! My dog's name is Peaches, and he doesn't appreciate the disrespect. I don't know about you, family, but that band-aid looks a little dirty. And it also looks a little used. Ugh. I don't know how the marshmallow got so hurt that he needed a band-aid. Like, dude, you're literally made of fluff and cushion. The marshmallows are weak. They probably cry to their mamas, too. Well, actually, I do that a lot. Almost every day. And maybe right now if I see another spooky Easter candy. Mom, these are scary. Okay, fine, marshmallow, you get a pass. But I am definitely not eating you. Try again with the next guy. These are bubblegum Easter eggs. Oh, they look so cool. So colorful and I just want to chew on them. I bet you the pink ones taste like bubblegum. And the blue ones taste like blueberries. And the yellow ones, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Hopefully it's not apple juice. If you know what I mean. Allegedly somebody bought these bubblegums. And when they went to put one in their mouth and... Chew it! Their teeth ended up touching something else other than just bubblegum. When they took it out of their mouth, it was kind of hard to tell what was inside. It looked a little shiny and also a little pointy. But with a closer look and a bigger inspection, they found out it was a clothespin or a clothes needle or a sewing pin. I don't know, family, but it was sharp. Really dangerous. What if the person would have ate that? Not safe. That's why before I eat some of my meals, my mommy cuts up my food for me. I gotta know what's inside my macaroni and cheese before I put it in my mouth. You never know if something's hiding in those hot dogs. In those macaronis. Or in that slimy ketchup. I'm suspicious. And clearly I should be because there's stuff hiding in food everywhere. Allegedly. Who would have thought that chickens grow eggs and needles in their tummies? Hmm. Speaking of things laying eggs, this giant chocolate chicken hen thing. I think it's a chicken. And it even comes with its own Easter eggs at the bottom. What a steal. Allegedly, this person opened up their box of chocolate chicken. <laughs> Chocolate chicken. I made a rhyme. When they went to eat the chocolate, apparently the chicken wasn't done laying eggs. I'm serious, family. Look! They held up the chicken and the chicken was popping out eggs just like popcorn. But not as tasty. Because look! Those are not eggs or popcorn. They look like weird slimy pills. What the? I don't know if this is some new type of Easter egg they're trying out, but I don't like it. I want the regular chocolate Easter eggs back. Not the goopy ones that look like liquid apple juice. Ugh. Easter's ruined. JK, we still got the chocolate. <laughs> Family, make sure to watch the end of today's video to see the weird looking snake inside of the Easter candy. Look at these Easter bunny lollipops. They're so adorable. And this person has a whole bag to themselves. That's like my dream. Well, actually not really because apparently and allegedly when this person went to open up the bag, they found something in it that uh, didn't quite look right. Look. Right there. No, family, look a little closer. Yes, right there. Did you see that shiny thing? That ain't no lollipop. And if we look more closer than that and pour everything out of the bag, you'll see that that wasn't no silver lollipop. It's sharp scissors. What in the chicken nugget is sharp scissors doing inside of Easter candy? Those bunnies are just babies. They don't know how to use scissors. And I know for a fact they ain't using scissor safety. My mommy would be disappointed. Unlike me who just graduated from Scissor Safety Academy last week. I got A pluses in all my classes. I'm a scissor professional. Ooh. A giant Easter egg filled with jelly beans. Whoa. They're even every color of the rainbow. Well, actually, I think it's missing a few, but it's close. We got yellow, pink, blue, and black. I don't think black is the color of the rainbow. And what the heck is that? Brown? Brown isn't supposed 
supposed to be there either. And to be honest, now that I look at it closer, those black and brown things don't look like jelly beans. They kind of look like chocolate chips. And an almond. Well, that's kind of random. But on the package, it doesn't say chocolate chips or single almond anywhere. So why is it in the candy? I don't know who allegedly found this inside of their jelly bean bag. And I don't really know if they should be happy or mad about it. Pretty suspicious they found things that aren't supposed to be there in there. But at the same time, who could be mad about chocolate chips? Oh, I'm so confused. All I know, family, is my mommy told me not to eat anything given to me by a stranger. Or if the package says jelly beans and there ain't no jelly beans in there, then you probably shouldn't eat that either. Easter Bunny failing us again. Next year, we're probably not even gonna get jelly beans. Oh, we're just gonna get jello. And y'all know that ain't the same. Aww. If you don't like eating real carrots, then I found a solution for you. Milk chocolate covered carrots. Or just milk chocolate that look like carrots. Easter version. But I wouldn't get too excited too quick, family. Because apparently when this person went to open up their box of chocolate covered carrots, everything seemed normal at first. But then when they went to actually grab one of the chocolates and take off the wrapper, that's when things started to get a little scary. Or should I say hairy? Because look at this. You might think, huh, that's an oddly looking chocolate. Well, that's because it's covered in a giant hair. Hairball. Cat hair, dog hair, human hair, I don't know. But what I do know is that I'd rather eat vegetables than have to eat that. That's nasty and fluffy and hairy and... <laughs> yeah, nope. Still not good. I guess it was too good to be true. We gotta just eat real vegetables tonight. Just block your nose and swallow. That works every time. <laughs> Look at this. A giant golden wrapped bunny. Is that Peter Cottontail? Because it really looks like him. And if so, dang family, fix your hair. We're about to make someone famous. And also eat him. Huh, kind of weird. Anyways, this looks like a super delicious chocolate Easter bunny. Until this person opened up the wrapper and allegedly found a hole inside of the back of the bunny. And you might think, huh, that's odd. What could possibly be inside the hole? Chocolate sauce, caramel sauce, whipped cream. Uh, no, none of the above. Allegedly, when the person started shaking the chocolate bunny, this came out. What is that, yellow and red sprinkles? Some kind of candy inside of the chocolate? Nope, it's chili flakes. You don't like the thing you put on top of a pizza? I don't know what kind of spicy chocolate bunny this candy company's going for. But I don't think that'll taste that good. Especially how much you'll be buzzing your tongue. That looks hot. And not in a good way. Ew. Now it's time for the Easter candy with a weird snake inside. Oh, family, just wait. From the outside, this looks like a really cute little chiclet with some tasty jelly beans inside. But then allegedly when this person took out the little chicken and reached in to grab some jelly beans, they found this. A really disgusting looking gross worm thing that is super long and super pointy. I don't know why that's in there with the little chicken. And I also don't know why that thing looks so dirty. Yeah. Like, what were they doing with that? Fishing out a dirty sink? That's nasty. Good thing is, is if Mr. Chicken ever needs a back scratcher, he can always use that. But we can't guarantee that he won't get a rash or infection after. Because I think that thing's filled with a lot of do not eat it! Even if it's right beside delicious jelly beans. You probably shouldn't eat those either. If the snake is evil, then so are the jelly beans. Oh man! The chicken's still cute though. I like him. If you like today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.